Thanks, Mom. I have no idea what she's doing. It's the Mother Baton. Official pass for me to you. I've had my kids, raised them, including you, and I am done. All right. Finish line, blue ribbon. My three older sisters and I pretty much raised ourselves. Seriously, I was the fourth child born in quick succession to a commercial model in Los Angeles. You were my fourth child in a row while I was still a rookie model in Los Angeles. Told you. Pop, pop, pop. Joy. Ugh. Ugh. I think you were three weeks old when I took you on a callback for a lipstick commercial. That client fell in love with you. Big-eyed, newborn, joy. And I landed that gig. I remember going back to the car with that... You know the feeling? You were the number one print model in Europe. Yes, I too was a successful model. Now, everybody calls me Jack's mom. Other drivers were honking at me, the way men do to beautiful women. You know what that's like too. Beautiful ones. Nice dig, Mom. I ignored them. Huh? The men. I just hummed loudly. Anyway, here's the funny part. I was so elated over getting this job that when I got back to the car, I put the baby carrier up on the roof, opened the door, put my portfolio in the back seat, and you're not going to believe this. Started the motor and pulled away. <laughs> Roof surfing down Santa Monica Boulevard at three weeks old. <laughs> Eventually, um, a, a man swerved his car into mine and pushed me off the road. And I was ready to press charges. Uh, but did he point it to maybe you on the roof? <laughs> You know, when you think about it, he probably saved your life. <laughs> Two takeaways from mom's story. First, I hereby absolve myself of all shame from alleged mom crimes. If I run out of baby carrots and put cucumber slices in Jack's lunch instead, I am no monster. Second, that bitch never gets to babysit. To you, kind man on Santa Monica Boulevard, without whom I would not be here today.